how to use colour channels with procedural texture in Affinity Photo, the RGB. Well, first thing to do, got an image. So filters menu and colours and procedural texture. You've got dialog. And there's a whole range of different presets. Some I've created, some that come with Affinity Photo. Select one of those, create your own. But at this point, where's the image gone? The image doesn't appear in most of the presets. You can combine it. So you don't have to keep just that equation. So you can go through all the presets and just modify that equation. What you can do, you can add R in, or G, or B, red, green, or blue. In this case, I'm just going to put R, and that's for R, G, and B. That's for all the channels. So R has been used, and you can see the effect there. And you can, of course, modify still the custom inputs as before. You can just quickly change those, maybe make a smoothness, change that. But this change this red you put the r in there uppercase r that's the key thing uppercase r that's only the red channel and it's going for r g and b so just copy it just copy it and i want to paste it into new equations and i'm going to just get rid of the g and the b so it's only now being worked on the red channel and you can see the effect there a bit fainter of course but what you can do you can add some more equations And what you can do then, you can paste in the equation. And of course, still, it's just got R in it. So it actually ends up as a grayscale. What you want is the R, G, and B on the other side as well. You've got on the right side, you've got the R, G, and B. Those pressed in. But what you can do, you can, of course, change the R into a G and B. So now for the red channel, you've got R. For the green channel, you've got G. And for the blue channel, you've got B. And of course, at this point, I've got a multiplication. Don't have to have a multiplication, of course. I could use others, as many other operators as well. So you can change that. Maybe put plus, R plus the smoothness. And like I said, this can be done for all of the other equations as well. And you can put G plus. And then B plus. Of course, you can still modify the actual other smooth parts of the equation as well, if you wish. Maybe change the Rx into Ry to create sort of weird color combinations. But you can also go R minus. G minus, but you can also keep maybe B as plus. Or maybe change that to minus as well. There's a number of common, obviously combinations. You can have R plus, G minus, B plus, and so on and so on. You can also use R divided. Of course, you could also multiply that in different ways as well. I'm going to go to that a little later. So you can have G divided. But you can keep B with, say, minus instead. So B minus that equation. And you can create all number of combinations and you can see what will happen, the colour effect. I'm using this via the filter menu, but you can also use the procedural texture via the layer menu and new live filter layer. Perhaps more useful. Up to you because there is one for the procedural texture. But you can go through all these combinations. And not only that, you can also do a combination of R plus G, put brackets around them, and then divide. Or maybe times, or plus. And you can do that, obviously, for the green channel. You can go G plus B. Again, in brackets is quite handy. And you can see again addition, additional colour effects. And you can still modify the custom inputs. 
But of course, what you can also do is you can say, well, I don't want just r, I want 0 0.4 times r. Or 0 0.3 times g. I just want a bit of g, I want a bit of r. Don't want a lot. But you can also put minus values in those as well. It doesn't have to be positive. So minus 0 0.1 times plus b. And of course you could have rg, r plus g plus b, or r plus g minus b in the equation. Divided by three, up to you. Many variations of colour possibilities there. And of course what you can do, you can make the 0 0.4 a custom input. And I'm putting it back to just standard R, G and B. Now we'll show you, like I said, you can just put a custom input. Go down to the bottom and click the R. Click that three times and create three variables, three custom inputs. Give the values 1 or 0 0.3, minus 0 0.3, minus 0 0.23, up to you. Let's give it some value, because if it's zero, it's not going to have any effect. So, of course, it can be zero as well. You don't have to use it at all. You don't have to use the boot. And now, of course, go back to the equation. And instead of just r, you can put c times r. And of course, you could also plus, plus g times d, plus, etc. So e times b. And now you've got that equation. And again, of course, that's modified by those custom inputs. And the other custom inputs still can be used as well. The up-down control will only go to zero. That's the minimum value. You can, however, enter manually minus two, minus five, etc. I generally always use the R. The great thing about R, you can always put 0.43 or 0.87. If you use the integers, you can only put 1, 2, or minus 1, minus 2. You can also add other functions into it. You don't have to keep it just as R and G. You could use many other functions that are available in Affinity Photo. I'm not going to do that, but I'm just showing you. OSC, SYN, bracket, around those. Just to modify it again slightly. Or maybe SYN or whatever. Just try them out. There's a whole heap of functions, available. and you can find out more about functions in the Finity Photo help, as well as via the channel. So just try them out, put brackets around them and vary them in different ways. And again, let's like say what you can do, you can also modify for each of those the smooth option, options, you can maybe change the Rx into Ry, or maybe Rx plus Ry to make it diagonal, to create all different colour comments so you don't have that straight lines. So once you've done all your changes, once you've applied your effect, you can then apply it. Of course, you could also go up to the presets and save it, the preset, with your new function. And you can, of course, go to the layer, me layer menu and fade. Use the fade command. Weirdly, it's in the fade. It's not in the edit. And you can run through all of the, and you can of course also modify the fade setting, fade value, but you can also change the blending mode as well. So you can create a whole range of different, and again, it's probably easier to do that via the layer menu and new layer filter layers. But a whole range of different, and I've just done it to that one, that, that preset. But of course, there's loads of other presets available, and you can find many videos that I've got showing all of loads of ways of creating weird and wonderful presets, but they can all be combined with images as well. So you can just run through all these different presets, and I'm going to go with 
with that one now. So you can see the design there, but you can of course modify it. And you can change your settings, custom inputs as before, but exactly the same as the bar one. What you can do is you can go up to the top and you can put R. You can of course put G there for the red channel. It's up to you, you don't have to have R. So you can put plus, R plus that, or R times, just to make it a very basic one. So R plus, and again, copy it, and then go to the plus there, and create some new ones, and paste it in. At the moment, it's only been worked for the A channel. I'm going to change that in a second. We'll change that to G. And that to B. That's just a start point. Again, you don't have to have R, G, and B. You can use just R all the way through or G combinations. And again, go over to the right side and click on the buttons there. Remove the A, just make sense it's R, G, and B. But again, let's say you don't have to have all the channels, you could just have the red and the green involved. So you've got all the channels now. And again, what you can do exactly as before, you can put some custom input in front of that. So click down the bottom, click R a couple of times. Now do three, so R, G, and B. But you could extend it much, sort of many, many more ways. So you could have R plus G, obviously a custom input for each of those as well, for each of the channels. And again, put the values in for your D and E and F. And of course you could rename it as well, if you wish. I'm just using E, D and F. And again, you could save that preset as well, if you wish. So now put D times R, E times R, put G I mean, and F times B. And again, you can vary the function as well. You don't have to use the same equation. You could modify the Rx into Ry and so on and so on. So you then put the settings, different settings, custom inputs, minus values, plus values. And you can vary in numerous ways, make a very garishly horrible yellow there to apply it, but you can still see the image beneath that. And then again, what you can do, you know, D times R plus G brackets. Again, remember the brackets. Or maybe minus R minus G. And divided by three. Or whatever. You can do whole heaps of combinations just by using the red, the green, and the blue. R, G, and B. As long as it's uppercase. Maybe the B divided by four. And click apply. Once you're happy with that, or let's like say just go up to the top and create a preset. Save it, store it away. If you're happy with that. Now, of course, you can vary the E, F, etc. And you can change maybe the colors again, modify it and tweak it in numerous ways. Click apply. Once you've done that, of course, what you can do, you can go to the layer menu and the fade. And you can change the fade value. You can change the blending mode. So you can create that weird garish color even more. The difference there. And again, change the fade value as well. More or less. Of 
quick apply. And again, you can also, of course, go to the layer menu and apply the fade again and again. Fade the fade. Very odd. And you can run through those as well. And of course, what you can do, you can create a macro for this. So this, this function can be combined with other filters as well. But as mentioned, you can also use it in the layer menu and new live filter layers. I'm not going to do that in here, but it's just, just wanted to show you that filter, filter, filter menu, colors, and procedural texture. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and many others. Please put some comments, always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.